the outdoor deck area, which is so cute. There's the backyard, there's fireplace, or firewood. There's a little bird. Hi, guy. Oh, bye. Okay. There's a fireplace there. Right there. Outdoor fireplace. Um, the outhouse is over there at night. There are a bunch of twinkly lights that we can turn on so that it's super bright and visible. And, yeah, this is our front door. Hello. <laughs> This is our front deck area. We got some water, which is really nice. Sometimes when we camp and stay at these cabins, we just have to get our own water or they have a well, but this is pretty convenient right out here. And then we come into here and it says welcome and there's beautiful sunflowers. That is just such an epic welcome sign made out of little twigs. I love it. We got some books. There's an awesome book on dinosaurs that I can't wait to read like a nine-year-old boy saying that but I love dinosaurs I love learning about them this is where we slept last night this is a really big bed and there is a bed up here huh -huh. there's a TV this is the whole living room area reclining seat <laughs> big ass comfortable couch a lot of dresser space and then up here they have so many cute decorations I love it. There's a fridge, and this is me in my PJs, my Adirondacks, Adirondack life. So cute. All these blinds actually open and close, which is really nice. I'm kind of afraid of the dark still. I've watched so many horror movies, so I just like to close and cover all the windows every night before I go to sleep, so I'm really grateful that we can do that. Um, this is where we had some dinner last night, and then here's the kitchen area. Uh, we got here at like... 10 so I didn't really eat much otherwise we probably would have started vlogging last night but that's all my boobs are really sore right now because I'm about to get my period but this is my suitcase super organized and I brought two pairs of shoes all women are forest nymphs do you want some of my yummy cocoa butter It just reminded me of the, like, saunas in Bali. Damn, now I'm just procrastinating on taking a shower. A little bit chilly. I'll carry you out there if you want. I got my Tevas on. I'm feeling crunchy as hell. Yeah. Here's the shower. Wow, this is pretty iconic. How was your shower? It was good. It wasn't as hot as I normally like it, but it was really good. Oh, hi, little friend. Nice little friend. Wow. Wow. His wings are flapping so fast. I love the welcome sign. It's so sweet. It looks like your dress. I know. Oh, it's warm. Sweet warm. It's not that cold outside. I'm just so lame when it comes to cold. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. What are you wearing today? I do not yet know. I have a tendency of changing outfits like three times a day. What, do we have uh, two options? Either my sunflower dress or like yoga pant outfit. Yoga pants are obviously more practical, keep my legs covered, keep the ticks off. And this is just cute as hell and it'll just make me want to prance around. Didn't your friend like get a take on her vagina. Yes. <laughs> I just washed my face. I really like this towel thing. I forget what it's called. But just put it on your damn head and it's perfect for washing your face. We have salad and you need one for Coffee. me. I'll have a sip and I'm also going to make us some pancakes. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, you filled my water. Babe. So I lost my water bottle again. I'm notorious for losing my reusable water bottles, which is not good. So I'm just using this plastic one that we got yesterday. It's 11.44 a.m. by the way. It seems like it's nighttime or dark because of the lighting, but it's a skipping and jumping day outside. These pancakes are all vegan. I used vegan butter, which I don't normally use, but I decided to go all out today. <laughs> she thick. Ooh. Mmm. It's really good? Perfect. Yay!
This is the dinosaur book that I was talking about. It's actually really informational, even though it's super easy to read and probably meant for children. I really feel like you guys are my friends, and when I talk to the camera, I genuinely feel like this warm, sweet energy. I make my videos for people who want to receive love. my food <laughs> we're cooking vegetables we have brussels sprouts broccoli colored carrots onions red pepper and garlic we're just gonna put it on this little guy you want to show the seasoning yes beautiful it smells so natural and delicious This is your outfit perfectly. It's so sweet. More veggies and quinoa. Voila. Wow, yum. It is so freaking good. The chili powder is like, I love spice and that's like the best spice ever. I'm reading this National Geographic mag that Miss Megan Hughes, or I guess her channel is just Megan Hughes now, recommended everyone read and it's called Planet or Plastic, and it's actually really good. I've been loving it and enjoying it. There's so many cool tidbits. I don't normally read National Geographic, but this one is so cool. I love this page. It talks about what the Earth will look like in the future. I guess they calculated the movements of the tectonic plates and how, yeah, different geographies will form and come together. This is in 250 million years. I'm just like, are we going to survive that long? And I love how... They show the present day geography of the earth and it says today's landscape is a blip in geologic time and I'm just like, yes it is my friends. I think that's why I love dinosaurs so much uh, because they're just a completely different species, creature, being that existed on this very earth. This very ground that we walked on bred such massive, really magnificent, huge beings for so long. What's to come after us? Will we just be a layer of sediment on Earth's crust? Our plastic will live on for long after we do. I'm just guessing. And I really like this page too. It talks about how trees communicate with each other underground and like help each other out. It's really rad. So I'm thoroughly enjoying this and reading is just so comforting to me. I'll just pick up anything that I can read most of the time and it just makes me feel so good. When I was younger, I was in first grade, I thought I was never going to learn how to read. I kind of like came home so sad. I was like, Mom, I really want to know how to read, but I don't think I'll be able to. And now I read all the time, and I'm so grateful. I actually really like my voice when I'm talking calmly, but I feel like when I'm talking calmly to the camera, it just starts to sound a little bit, like, sexual. I don't know. Because it's just so calm. I'm going to try doing ASMR. What should I say? What do I do in ASMR? I'm gonna try and do some ASMR for you guys today. I'll be doing some talking with my voice and some tapping. You know what's so great? Something that we often forget is that we're free. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> we did two hikes today, so 
I'm just feeling so relaxed. My body was so happy to receive food. I just feel like my whole body is so nourished. It's so grateful to receive so many vegetables. Just, yes. Beauty is a state of mind. Like think about when you were in middle school and you got your braces off or you got your new Aeropostale shirt or Hollister shirt and you just felt like this shit. You felt so poppin'. You took a bunch of photos with your friends and put them on Facebook and you look back at them now and you're just like, what was I thinking? Like I thought I looked so good, but this is so embarrassing. That's kind of how I feel about beauty is that, yeah, it's really just a frequency that you tap into of just confidence and acceptance and of flourishing and I believe that it's possible to do that even when you have random outer things that you're not extremely happy about it's just like you're beautiful for so many reasons and I just think that it's dangerous to rely on that feeling of acceptance from outer things whether that be your appearance or compliments from your lover or your friends it leads to disappointment when you're attaching to the way you look. And I honestly think that's why I struggled with binge eating. The main thing was that, like, when I looked okay, I wanted to ruin it. Like, I I didn't want it to matter that I fit this body type or whatever. I, I wanted to just see how much I could, like, destroy my body or something and just be so reckless with myself. I, I don't know. It sounds kind of weird, but I guess I wanted to swim in what it felt like not to love myself or to have to work hard again to get to a certain point because I wasn't satisfied with how my body looked even when it was like the ideal what other people would want I just kind of wanted to destroy it but yeah I think beauty is a state of mind ugly is a state of mind and also I'm whatever label you decide to put on me so whatever you see me as I'm okay with it because I can't control that but Anyways, I don't know how we got into that super deep conversation. I seriously feel like we're just homies hanging out on the couch and it's so nice. But yeah, this life is just so short. Okay, I'm gonna go by the fire now, but to finish my sentence, my ideas on life are de and death are so not fear-based because I really don't feel afraid to die. I'm like ready to go if it has to happen. <laughs> um, and as far as life, man, like this is just not even a blip in time in the timeline of the universe and I'm just okay with that so I'm just gonna live it up but anyways time to go by the fire you gotta prioritize going into the woods more you know just as a society as a collective Oh my god, my voice sounds so bad. It's almost 3 a.m. I'm editing this video. It's gonna go up soon, I think. Um, I was at a party and I was dancing and I guess I just lost my voice, but I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I didn't get to start this video properly because the intro got deleted, so I thought I would end it properly, but mostly I just wanted to say hey. Um, I just feel like I found this little light in my heart recently and it's like this special little sacred thing that I'm just holding and harnessing and it's like this light that glows outward and extends into everything that I create and everything that I do and the words that I share and I just I like want to share my light with everyone and I see this light in everyone else and I just really feel that so strongly right now and um, I'm just so excited for all the possibilities of life and I am filming a video tomorrow about depression, kind of talking a little bit about changing your core beliefs and what a difference that makes in your life. But one of the main ones in my life is, and you'll hear me repeat this in my next video, but you will be supremely happy, sublimely happy. That is definitely one of my core beliefs in my life is that like I can be so full of joy and love and happiness and I just truly feel that coming through. Also, I was editing this vlog. Okay, my voice is like come, kind of coming back. I was editing this vlog and just feeling that I really hadn't let go of my 
thinking mind during this weekend like i love going upstate new york because i live in a city and i need my wild woman to come out i feel her like clawing inside of me just wanting to be free and that's why i didn't film a lot of my trip here because i was walking around naked i was swimming in the river and really just having an amazing time we were there for like four days but i think only vlogged like two of the days there but I was still so in my head because I live in New York and I'm always running about around working and meeting people and socializing. Okay, I'm really not that social, first of all, but it is a busy city and you do absorb the vibration of the environment that you're in naturally. And so it took me a little bit longer to drop into nature and get out of my pragmatic, linear thinking mind and just feel into my body. And um, I... I don't want it to be hard for me to do that. Like I really am trying to find ways to immerse myself into nature more and more. And of course doing meditation and breath work helps so much. But going into the forest, like editing this vlog made me so happy seeing the trees and the greenery and the water, the fresh flowing water. Oh my God, you guys, I'm just like, what a blessing it was that I was able to go there and that I can connect with nature and have such a deep, soul filling relationship with mother nature and this earth and just such a connection and witnessing my truth every time that I walk into the forest I I wouldn't trade that for anything like I'm just so grateful that I have this wonderful relationship and that every forest that I walk into just feels like my home and um yeah I I definitely feel this yearning within me to really drop into the forest and really drop into nature so I might plan a spontaneous trip soon or I might just try and find my favorite little parks in New York and walk barefoot on them. But yeah, I'm a very etheric person. I like talking about crazy concepts and existential things. So it's really important for me to ground down, to ground that energy down so I'm not just like up in the ethers all the time with my head in the clouds. I need to have my feet planted on the earth really firmly and that's why I do really grounding yoga practices and I don't do so much of the like intense breath work or kundalini stuff. Like right now it's so important for me to just ground as I'm still healing and trying to stay stable with like disassociation and depression and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, the forest is just always calling me and I feel like it's such an intuitive, deeply ingrained thing that I can't keep neglecting or putting off. So I'm trying to find a balance because I love New York so much and I love the forest. But anyways, um, I overall just feel like it is such a gift to be alive and I'm just so grateful for this existence and I'm so excited to see what I'll create and what you guys will create and I'm just excited to keep seeing through all the illusions. Just I'm feeling so blessed and so abundant and um, I just feel like things are aligning. My skin is clearing up a lot. I went to my dermatologist today and I've been getting professional extractions like every single month and usually the appointment takes like 20 minutes where she's really popping everything on my face and today it took like 10 minutes and she barely had to do any extractions which is a really good sign and she said that my scars are deceiving because it makes it look like I have a lot more acne than I do um, but after she pops them I have like these red dots on my face. My face is like super oily right now because I was dancing. But yeah, I have all these like red dots and all the red dots are places that she popped something today. It's mostly like right here on my forehead. It looks kind of um, not super cute, but I've just been rocking them without makeup and it feels really good. It feels really good to film without makeup. But yeah, even this, like so impermanent and like such a small story and small chunk of my life that for when I first started breaking out, it was so hard for me to deal with and so hard for me to accept. And I finally come to a place where I accept it and it's really clearing up. And I just think that comes as no surprise. But yeah, I just think that we all have such a light in our heart and in our being and such a gift to share with this world. And I really support you guys doing that in any way that you feel called to do. This life is so amazing and what a gift and um, I'm just, I'm just feeling really at peace right now at freaking 3 a.m. and yeah, I just, I'm having one of those moments where I just feel like I know myself, like really know my truth and it's not necessarily because I did a meditation or yoga, like 
just because I'm living and through experience, I'm getting to know myself more and more. And so I just wanted to share that. I, I always want to document the moments that I feel the most myself because I just want to recreate those moments. And I had a moment this weekend where I was swimming in the river naked and my boyfriend was like, how do you feel? And I was like, I feel like myself. And I did. I just, I love being naked in the forest. I love how animalistic I feel. I love how there's nothing separating me from my true self in nature as an animal, as a creature, um, as this being having this experience. I'm not going to get into that right now though because I can talk about that forever and you know I should probably get some sleep tonight and yeah I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here and hanging out with me. I love you so much. Keep listening to the omens and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you so much.